about time to do this again, you know. I'm going to show y'all the right way to shave your head and keep a bald head slick. If you're going to wear one, you have to shave it at least every two days. Some people have to do it every day. And it's good to learn how to do it yourself because uh, if you're going to keep it slick, going to the barber shop three, four times a week, it can get very expensive. So you have to learn how to do it yourself. First of all, you got to pick the right kind of razor, especially if you're a black man. Because you know how some people, you'll see that they got a bald head, but then the back of their head look like the back of the bottom of a Rice Krispies bar, all kind of bumps and stuff. So you got to get the right razor. Me, I use a razor, razor blade called the Bump Fighter. And the reason that it don't bump you up is because over the blade, it got a roll of teeth. So the blade don't actually touch your head. And then that keeps the hair from growing back in and giving you the bump. Some start shaving it. And I always go along with the, with the hair on the sides and top. Good fresh razor every time works out better because if, if your blade's not sharp, then you're going to get irritated. Now what I do, I basically start out and get most of the hair and then come back later and clean up the details. Right, in the top when you're doing it, you can see it where the hair is at. Now when you get to the back, it's a different thing after you do it. You've got to feel it. And you always, you want to get it all off because if you leave a spot, you might not notice it. But it stands out like a sore thumb. And it talks to people. <laughs> hey, that's right. I'm a hair spot. See where you left me at, don't you? If you do long strokes from front to back, you can mostly get everything. No paw heads. What made me start wearing a bald head is that I started getting thin in the top. Um, when you start getting bald, it's time to let it all go. Of course, I didn't know being a bald headed man was going to be so exciting because um, people really like it. Especially the ladies. And actually, when you shave your head, sometimes you cut 10 years off your appearance. You can believe I'm 54 years old. Two sons and eight grandchildren. <clears throat> and when I'm freshly bald, can't nobody tell. Go a week without doing it look like Grady on Sanford and Son. So I love a ball head. It's easy to maintain. It's not even taking that long.
But it's very important to get the bump fighter ready because you know, us black men, we have coarse hair and tender skin. So, we can't use razor blades like everybody else can, even for our face. You got to get the right blade. They're hard to find. Every time I go in the store where they have some, I can buy all they have. shaving it if you can hear it. That's the hair. Now, that's basically it, but I'm not done yet. Because now it's time to feel it. Still feel where the hair is in the back. So, just a little bit more shaving cream. Just a little. We hit the back. We want to get a little bit of the neck too. Side to side, you can probably get most of everything. You'll be working your way up side to side. Get behind those ears. Not done yet. Now I want to run my hand across it. There's a patch right there. You want to just go across it to when you run your fingers across it. It's slick on all the hair. You might do it at home. But you don't want to go outside and it look like you've done it at home, if you know what I mean. This is the finishing touch. Feels pretty slick. No nicks. No hair. Then he come back. That's the back. I've done a good job.
and you want to double check, write it in here, you leave that and you won't notice it until the light hits it. You want to make sure you get around the edges in the front. Now it looks like I'm done. It's all nice and smooth and slick. But not yet. There's one more thing. Because now the head is bald and it's exposed skin. You've got to put something on it. Now you can use a number of things. I use everything from olive oil to lotion with vitamins in it. This one has vitamin E. You just take it. And rub it in. Once you gotta take care of the skin. Same way you take care of, take care of the head, same way you take care of the rest of your skin. 